Well, first of all, does a woman have the right to choose what she does with her body? The answer might seem obvious to many of you, but tonight in America, there's a direct, direct and dramatic threat to that right. An incredible and frankly scandalous league of a draft ruling suggests the Supreme Court will overturn its 1973 decision that legalized abortion nationwide. That judgment was, of course, Roe versus Wade. Now, abortion splits America often savagely along partisan lines. President Biden is unequivocal in his defense of Roe. He said a woman's right to choose was fundamental, and Roe has been the law of the land for almost 50 years and would not be overturned. Well, I'm joined now by conservative radio host Ben Ferguson and socialist author Grace Blakey. Well, welcome to both of you. Ben Ferguson, uh, I've got to say, here in the UK, this has been meet, met with complete horror, uh, but I'm very aware, having spent a lot of time working and living in America, that the country is very divided about this issue of abortion. And for everyone who is screaming that this is appalling today, there are many uh, Republicans in middle America who will be cheering from the rooftops. What's your view? Uh, look, number one, I think this is a victory for protecting life of the unborn. We talk about protecting children all the time. You just had a story about a child that went missing and how horrific it is that child has been missing. Yet we have 80 plus million children that are aborted every year. So for me, this is about protecting the rights of the unborn. I think this is a good thing. Second of all, no one should be horrified in the UK or anywhere in the world that this ruling came down because abortion, if they're terrified that it's illegal, that's not accurate. This is sending it back to the states, and the states have a right to decide what their laws are, the same way that states in America have the right on gun laws. And look, Democrats have put themselves in a tough position right now. One, because they can't even define what a woman is anymore, so you can't say it's a woman's right to choose anymore. And two, they, the whole my body, my choice, well, they've also thrown that out the window because they wanted to mandate vaccines in America. So the idea now is, well, let's leak it from the Supreme Court. Let's have chaos at the court. Let's try to shame people into doing what we demand they do because we can't define a woman and we can't say anymore, my body, my choice, when we demanded vaccines. Okay. They're in a bad spot as they should be. All right, let me bring in Grace. Are you currently identifying as a woman before we start? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Well, as a identifiable woman, uh, what's your response to Ben Ferguson? My response to this is that America does not want this. The polls are clear. This is an assault on American democracy by a highly organized group of religious extremists who are seeking to force women to have births and who want to basically control, use the power of the American state to control women's bodies. This is a complete and utter violation of basic human rights, rights that the American Constitution that you hold so dear was created to defend. And that's not even mentioning the separation between church and state, that this clearly goes against, because this is all about this tightly organized sect, basically, within America that wants to criminalize homosexuality, control women's bodies, and basically take your country back to it. the 18th, 19th century. All right, Ben Ferguson, you're from the, the 18th Again, century. For, for the remain yeah, for, for the remainder of this interview, Piers, I identify as a woman, because apparently now you can do that. So as a woman now, I want to make it clear, she has <laughs> no idea what she's talking about, about the American laws. The laws state, and she's completely wrong, that you don't rule at the Supreme Court based on public opinion. You, you rule on law based on judges one thing, the Constitution. Hold on, I'm gonna, I, I identify as an American as it's well. So calm down and let me finish. Let me finish. You never rule on the Constitution based on public opinion. You and cannot if you understood call yourself American a democracy laws, you if you are understand putting this power in the hands of right elected judges. All right, ben Ferguson, let me, ask you, let me ask you this question. You and I have debated, for example, sure. gun rights many times over the years. You've always made it clear to me yes. there's no point bringing in new gun laws because people will still be able to get guns. I would put it to you, what's the difference ideologically if you try and stop people having abortions legally They'll go and find them. It'll just be more difficult. And actually, the people that will suffer most will be those who can't afford to go to other states where it's legal. So you have a country which will be split, but the people suffering most in terms of choice will be those who can least afford to take other options. Uh, again, you're going back to the, the problem here, which is you, it's a public opinion is now what you're demanding the Supreme Court decide on instead of what the law actually says. You look at guns. Every single state has different gun laws, and no one is freaking out over that. 
If Let's you're in California, you have extreme gun laws. Illinois, you have extreme. Let me finish. Let me finish. Extreme gun laws. The reality is. Democrats have gotten themselves in a corner because they refuse to admit what a woman is. They refuse to admit that, again, that you do have rights or don't have rights of your own body. They screwed this up. And so, what the Supreme Court they is doing and what states like Mississippi, when they challenged this, us did. Far right extremists yeah, they did. Of course, they did. You can't even define what a woman bodies. is. This has been a concerted campaign that has attack. existed in America I, again, for many, this, many this decades why, now. This is, this why is a victory. Okay, don't talk over each other. For religious extremism of the kind that, if it was taking place anywhere else in the world, would be rightly attacked by the allegedly civilized okay, liberal democracies who uh, don't think right, it is the been, right of the state been, to control ben, a woman's body. Let Ben respond to that. Okay. For, for the remainder of this interview, I identify as, as atheists, okay? No so one therefore, cares. we fix that problem. <laughs> like, as a, as just someone who doesn't care about any of religion, Wait, let me finish. As somebody that has no religion right now, I've just identified as that, this has nothing to do with religion. And if, again, if you looked at American laws, which you clearly know nothing about, you, the Supreme Court is not making a decision on religion. This is your religious bigotry towards people of religion and bigotry towards Christian. those that believe in I will God have you know, when this has nothing this to do... This, Just in the same way again, that many Muslims look at religious religion. extremists it has in Saudi nothing Arabia to do with and religion. think that's a right, Let me ask you, Ben. Ben, said ben, nothing about ben let me ask you this. Yes. What, what is your personal opinion of abortion? Uh, personally, I believe that abortion is wrong. I believe that you protect the life of the unborn child at the time of conception. As a father of three, I believe that as soon as they were conceived, that is a child, and that child should be protected and not aborted. And do you have a? Do you have a I don't know. I don't know your family, but do you do you have a daughter? I have three sons, two that are twins from in vitro, so I know a lot about conception and when it starts. Okay. All of my children okay. are miracle now, that, babies The question I was going to ask you, had you said that one of your kids was a daughter, I just wonder what your view would have been about the perennial question well, about Well, identify the... all of them as daughters right now, so let's go there, right? Okay. We can well, do that do, now. They're all daughters, so Let's have the them identify as daughters. How would you feel if Perfect. you had a daughter who was impregnated by a rapist, for example, or through incest? Would you still say that she was not a, entitled to have an abortion? It's a great question. Many of the states that are saying that they will go with whatever the decision is on Roe v. Wade have said, unless it's life of the mother, rape or incest, they will allow abortion in those states, including many of the conservative states that you mentioned earlier. If it is personally my child and they came to me and they said I was raped and I am pregnant, I still believe that that is a child, a authentic human being at the time of conception. And I do believe that you can give that child up for adoption if you do not want to raise that child. But it's still a child. And that child's life des deserves if, to be defended. If you care it does so not much mean, by the life. way, that I don't think you so go after life, the person that did the why horrific Why are Republicans crime. denying people health care? Why are they allowing people to go around murdering each other? This has with nothing guns? to do with the conversation here. We're not denying health care. See, this is when you know Your you've lost the argument. Republicans when you have are going to bring around up Another country, argument that has denying nothing people to do with contraception. contraception. Don't talk over each other. Denying no. people contraception, basically teaching a policy of abstinence, telling people it's wrong to have contraception, it's wrong to have sex. So when that inevitably does happen, I, I they have no choice when they're very, very young, other than just to have a child that they don't want, that is right. going to completely destroy right, their life. Final word to that is not the, pro life. I would, I would argue Ben Ferguson must have had sex because he's got three kids. So let's just put that on the table, right, Ben? But, let, yeah, let me let me say this very clearly. If you're having to then go into health care and arguing about health care to defend your position on abortion, you've lost the argument. This and is abortion about is let him finish. Let him finish. Let, let me finish. Let Ben finish. Let me finish. Abortion is not illegal in America with this ruling. It is and going back your to way, the Constitution. It will be. Again, let me finish. Let me finish. I have a right to an opinion. So do you. Okay. Yeah, you both but have your right to opinions on this show. Here. And the uncensored. Supreme Court has made it clear that they have said it's a state's rights issue, and that's what the issue okay. is here. You don't and understand America. How much America's longer until we see federal legislation imposed when the Republicans take back control? Um, that basically makes it illegal everywhere. Okay. Your country is going it back would to the Middle Ages. Be All right. down We've got to leave it there. Because it's a state's rights issue. We've got to leave it there. It's a it, this is the kind of debate that's raging all over America, by the way. So it's a good debate to have. I believe in uncensored debate. And passions are going to run very high about this. Ben Ferguson, Grace Blakely, thank you both very much. Thanks.